now. Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, Grace, by now it's probably heating up at the midday point, but it was sure as nice in the mornings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what? We're going to have wake-up temperatures in the low 60s all week. Oh, oh we're gonna go cool what we will have also, though, is a little more humidity oh, by uh, great. later in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not officially right. in fall just yet, but yeah, you're right. We're prepping for a cooler winter thanks to El Nino this year. Take a look at the Way 31 SkyCam Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. More cloud cover today than we've seen the last several days, but still plenty of intermittent sunshine making its way. What you're going to see throughout the day today is periods of full-on cloud cover and periods of full-on sun. So it'll be there and then it'll be gone and we'll be just fine dealing with it. Temperatures hanging out in the low 80s and upper 70s at this time. We are completely dry from rain at 1118 on your Monday morning. Most of us will stay that way today. However, I am tracking some very isolated chances for showers as we head later through this afternoon and into lunchtime. Now notice this is future radar. Plenty of cloud cover one or two spots of rain developing in some of our far southern counties right around lunchtime. But again, the vast majority of us will remain completely dry. We'll start to see that cloud cover sort of recede around dinner time, but then it moves back in overnight before it finally gets out of our way tomorrow. So do you need your umbrella today? Absolutely not. Even if you do live in our southern counties, do you need a rain jacket today? I'm also going to say no, but note that you might have a little bit of drizzle for just a minute and then the sunshine and the cloud cover will return. 86 degrees for your high temperature on your Monday. Still just a touch below average, but feeling quite nice. We'll have the slightest hint of a breeze and that'll really help conditions to feel good for us. When you first wake up tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the low 60s and then by 9 a.m. we're talking low 70s. Your high temperature for your Tuesday, 88 degrees. A little bit closer to average and honestly, we'll be feeling a whole lot warmer because we'll have more sunshine in the forecast, but we'll also have higher humidity coming with some spots of some afternoon rain possible as well. By the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday, well, that's when we'll really be seeing that rain. We'll have isolated chances for rain on Wednesday. Thursday, we're looking at some more scattered afternoon thunderstorms. So here's what it all looks like. A little bit of rain coming on Wednesday, primarily to those of us east of the corridor. But here's the thing. We're still mapping out the exact timing of this system. What we have is two low pressure systems on either side of Alabama and then an occluded front, which is sort of a blend between a warm and cold front moving right in between them. And they're all duking it out right now. So the exact timing of when this is going to come could move up just a little bit. For right now, though, it's looking like rain east on Wednesday afternoon and evening, and then that gets out of our way overnight. The timing that I'm pretty certain on is our Thursday afternoon rain. This will start around lunchtime and develop mainly in southern Tennessee, and then we'll continue to track south and east through dinner time. This could move up just slightly, but again, this system is a little more in check than the one that we're mapping on Wednesday. So are either one of them full days of rain? No, but you could see some rain on Wednesday and most of us will see some storms on Thursday. Off in the Atlantic, I'm tracking Tropical Storm Philippe that, well, we're still very much tracking. The spaghetti diagrams are showing us that there's multiple different routes that this storm could take. Currently moving at 50 miles an hour for our maximum wind gusts and tracking due west. That's something that we'll continue to monitor as it gets closer and closer to the co continental United States. But of course, it won't ever enter the Tennessee Valley. So it's 86 degrees today with a mix of clouds and sun sunshine. Very, very spotty rain on Tuesday. Isolated rain east of the corridor Wednesday. Thunderstorms Thursday. But then, hey, the sunshine is back just in time for this weekend. Ooh, I just like in that. time. <laughs> <laughs> we got some big plans. We love when yes. a plan comes together. Yes, we do. <laughs>